Hello, this is Philip Gibson with the North Carolina Radon Program. We've had a few requests um, for explanation on how to access the map that we have online, as well as how to access data within the map at the zip code level. So I'm going to show you um, how to do that, and uh, here we go. So whatever browser it is that you have uh, to access the Internet, bring that browser up. And afterwards, you want to type in ncradon.org. Now, if you've gone to this website in the past, then uh, you may need to refresh or reload the website by clicking on this. Um, it can be circular or it could be a, a statement of reload. But nonetheless, what you should have is a website uh, that will have either these features on the top and the side that are static um, and given the time in which I'm recording this, this may or may not have this information in this block. But what we do is feature the new items within this open space. Um, so it may be different in the future, but for now what we have is the state radon map in the featured section of the front page. To access it, simply click and what the map is asking for is permission to know what your location is uh, while accessing the map. And you want to do that so that it automatically locates the zip code in which you're collecting data from. So I'll click allow and it automatically uh, goes to the 28715 uh, spot where I'm located and is where the radon uh, program office is located. So now that I know that it's there, I can click this off. And then when I click on that zip code and then move it down a bit so I can see the whole screen, I see that this is 28715. I see that from 1996 to present day, and in this case it's up to 2014, there were 805 tests conducted in this zip code. And among all those tests, 75.7 .7 picocuries per liter was the highest recorded level again, of those 805 tests. Now these numbers will change as we uh, load new data into the data bank over time. I also want to point out that there's uh, an opportunity to zoom out and look at the entire state, and you can begin uh, clicking on other sections um, to find out new information. If you are in one of the areas where there is white or, or really no um, purple or, or lighter transparent purple, um, then this means that there's no data for that area. And this could be because it's a park or um, a place where there are no homes, essentially. Or it could mean that no one has tested in that area, to our knowledge. Um, there is a link here that says how to use this website. And this is also going to describe that there's um, two options as a part of this website to show where certified mitigation professionals are located, as well as where certified measurement providers are located. So this is important. Um, because you may find, well, I have a high level um, registered in my zip code, and that's going to prompt me to go ahead and test my home, which we're hoping that that's, in fact, what will happen. And then you can go and click on one of these mini dots throughout the state, and um, you'll probably choose one that's closest to you. In this case, um, I can go and then zoom in to my area at 28715 and uh, I can click on that button and find out who that person is and give them a call.
So just to show, in this case, um, Arthur McElrath, who is at this current time registered with National Radon Proficiency Program. Um, this is the name of the company. This is the phone number. This is his email address. And you're able to click on this thing so you can call them automatically or email them automatically. Then there's additional information. Uh, so if you're using this on your iPad or on your mobile phone, um, you can read a bit of information about what is radon, um, how does it enter the home, how to test purchasing from our website, health impacts, contact information for our program. So there's quite a bit of information here. Um, the intent is really just to share with you that radon is a problem statewide, as you can see all the way to the eastern part of North Carolina. And uh, you will not know what your level is until you test. The links at the top here essentially will direct you down, like testing will direct you down into that mobile uh, section. And uh, I hope that this has been helpful in describing how to utilize this mobile map. Thank you.